Am I the asshole? For being the reason my younger siblings said no to being adopted by our stepmom. I'm the oldest of four. My siblings are Kalia, Thea and Dex. Our mom died eight years ago. Kalia and I are the only ones who remember her and I remember her more than Cal does. But we have always shared stories of our mom with Thea and Dex. I also have a bunch of photos and videos they've seen and they do ask about her, including to our dad sometimes. Two years after mom died my dad met my stepmom and married her pretty quickly seven-ish months later. At the time they spoke about her adopting the four of us. I said no. There was some debate between them and they decided to hold off until she could adopt all four of us. She was still new to me so I found it incredibly weird to have someone offer to adopt me five months after I met them and especially when she and my dad were both aware that I remembered mom. None of my siblings have ever called our stepmom mom. Theo and Dex call her by a nickname and Callie calls her by her name like me. But my siblings consider her a parent while I consider her more my dad's wife. The adoption topic never really went away and a couple of years ago I did some research and learned that adoption would alter my birth certificate and I would be issued with a new one if I agreed. My stepmom's name would replace my mom's name as my mother. I did a lot of research on the topic because I knew the issue would reach a boiling point eventually. I even got to web chat with a local lawyer who knew the details of that stuff. A couple of months ago my siblings asked me why I mentioned downsides to being adopted and I told them stepmom's name would replace mom's on our birth certificates and I did not want her to replace mom on mine. I showed them what I found. Kalia understood and Thea and Dex got it when we put it into more kid-friendly terms. My dad and stepmom brought up the adoption again last week and dad said it would be the last time or they would proceed with her adopting my siblings. I said my answer remained no and gave them a very detailed speech on why. My stepmom said I could always frame my original birth certificate if that would make it better and people would see it but I would still be adopted and be her son. I said no. When they did go to my siblings they all said no and all said they didn't realize mom's name would be erased and they didn't want that. My dad and stepmom tried to coax them out of their no but they all said they didn't want it and Kalia said they only ever said yes because they felt like they should, not because they really wanted to be adopted. My dad was furious with me and said it was all my fault and I had made them change their minds. He said I robbed them of the security adoption would provide and effectively made sure they would never truly see our stepmom as mom after such a big line in the sand was drawn. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. I don't blame you for not wanting your mom's name removed and your siblings made their own decisions. I think your dad is pushing you too hard on this. I'm sorry this must all be very difficult for you. Not the asshole. If you and your siblings don't want to be adopted, you shouldn't have to be. Not the asshole. You told your sibling the truth and they've made their own decisions. You don't need an adoption for someone to become a parent to you. Info where are you located? I was adopted by my stepdad and did not have to go through changing my birth certificate. My birth certificate still has my biological father's name on it. Not the asshole. Adoption should be the choice of the person being adopted every single time. The adults in this scenario need to understand that this isn't about them. Rob them of the security adoption would provide that's just BS. There are many ways to provide security for you without a formal adoption. That's what wills, trusts and guardianships are for. Effectively made sure they would never truly see our stepmom as mom after such a big line in the sand was drawn. Your dad is the one drawing the line in the sand. He is making this about himself. But not the asshole for not wanting to be adopted by your stepmom. You absolutely have the right to say no and so do your siblings. As a side note, that's interesting about the birth certificate. I was adopted and I have an original birth certificate with my bio parents names and an adoption certificate with my adoptive parents names and a couple other certificates bits of paperwork with their names. Not saying this should motivate you to accept the adoption. Really is just a side note because where you live the laws and paperwork seem different from where I live, 
and I genuinely find that interesting. Not the asshole but I'm curious why the birth certificate has to be changed. She didn't give birth to you and is not your biological birth mother. Why would stepmother or any stepparent want to adopt several children? Is it out of love? Is there some financial reason? It is a big responsibility, yet I hear it happening a lot on Reddit, where the child is being pressured to allow adoption. I just don't understand why the parent insists on doing it. I'd be like, okay, you still live here, and nothing has really changed. As a stepmom, not the asshole. Not the asshole, it's your choice and you made it. Sucks for your dad and stepmom, but that's their problem, not yours. Not the asshole. Is it me or does it seem like he was happily omitting things like your mother's name being removed on all birth certificates? That should have been brought up when that first adoption conversation happened. Not to mention, that first adoption conversation should have never happened. My siblings they all said no and all said they didn't realize mom's name would be erased and they didn't want that. My dad was furious with me and said it was all my fault and I had made them change their minds. You didn't change their minds. They made up their minds themselves upon learning vital information their father willingly withhold from them. Not the asshole. You're a good brother. Not the asshole you made your decision. I that decision counts. Not more need to discuss anything. Not the asshole. If he wants the security of ensuring you your siblings care if something happens to him, that's what a will is for. I'm so sorry op. You're doing the right thing. Please tell other family as well so they can support you in this. Not the asshole being a mother has nothing to do with paperwork. If consent would be refused by someone with full information then not giving you and your siblings the full information wasn't about seeking consent. Your siblings were lied to and manipulated into giving consent while not understanding what they were agreeing to. Perhaps your father shouldn't have lied to you and your siblings about this if he wanted to have a good relationship with his children. It always blows my mind when people who have children remarry so fast that their own children have reservations about not knowing or trusting the person coming into their family. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You did not lie to them. However when speaking to the lawyer did you also discuss any advantages for your siblings if the adoption went through? Nah. Have you thought about what happens if something were to happen to your dad? Are you gonna take care of your three siblings? No, CPS will take them. I understand where you are coming from, but I see your dad's side more. Being adopted by your stepmother would give you and your siblings more security, at least. Not the asshole. Your father's just mad that he can't gift rap pre-made children to make current wife happy. Just tell them both you'd hate to have to do it again when he lost this one and swapped her out for the new model six months later. Just because he married her doesn't give them the right to force her on you or your siblings he is only pushing you away eventually when you hit 18 you don't have to speak to them.